Um, so with their warships landing in Brazil last week, uh, does State Department or White House have any comment for the Brazilian government specifically? And do you guys view this sort of like, you know, through a kind of Monroe Doctrine lens of like, they're on our, you know, body of land? Countries are going to make their own decisions. Uh, the Monroe Doctrine is um, a legacy of history. Uh, it is not something that uh, the United States uh, espouses. Uh, we have partners in our hemisphere. Brazil, of course, is a close partner of the United States. It's a close democratic partner of the United States. It's our impression uh, that no democracy in this hemisphere or anywhere else uh, would want these kinds of Iranian assets, these warships, docking in their ports. Uh, we want to continue to work with our Brazilian partners to send the right message uh, to Iran, to uh, others who would uh, pose a threat, pose a challenge uh, to our collective interests uh, around the world. We believe, as we said, that warships like this have no place uh, in the Western Hemisphere, given the signal it sends. Can I just go back mm -hmm. to the Brazil question mm -hmm. for a second? Mm -hmm. uh, the Brazil-Iran question. Um, that is, uh, uh, is the administration going to impose sanctions on, um, uh, on the Brazilian port, uh, the port of Rio de Janeiro, and um, any any you know, reef, you know, gas, I don't know what they take, diesel, whatever it is, uh, you know, any, any uh, vendors that, um, that supplied them with uh, fuel or food or other supplies? Matt, you won't be surprised to hear that we don't preview those types of actions, but Brazil, of course, is a partner. Yeah. Uh, Brazil is aware? A <clears throat> Have you made them aware that they are subject to secondary sanctions, given the fact that these two warships are designated? We are we are a partner to Brazil. Brazil is a partner have to us. Been told. We we have discussions with our Brazilian partners on a range of issues. Uh, they, I am confident, uh, are aware of uh, existing sanctions uh, authorities. Is it, but is it not U.S. law that they must be sanctioned? Matt, uh, again, we just or don't. The, we, there must be. Uh, is it not the the law that they that that you this is a violation of, of, of those sanctions. I, I would, so ha I would, it, I would have it, to look into the law. the law. That I would have to look into whether these are mandatory uh, and what the details are. But again, uh, our Brazilian partners are sanctions. Our, our Brazilian partners are partners. Uh, we are going to do what is most effective uh, together in pushing back on uh, the threat well, well, and the challenge what, that Iran poses. Does that to, mean that you could decide that what is most effective is not implementing the law? Matt, you know we follow the law. Uh, again, I am I'm not going to I'm not I'm not going to if if it were found that the Brazilian the Brazilian port operator and attendant companies caterers fuel suppliers whoever uh, you know provided this provided these two ships sanctioned ships with uh, with assistance with support um, would the sanctions apply as we always do we marry the facts with the law and arrive at a decision, but we don't okay, so, preview so the, those so, so, decisions. All right, so the answer is yes. If you do determine that the, that the sanctions were violated, then there will be penalties imposed on your partners, quote unquote, in Brazil at the Port of Rio and, and, and whoever else. Matt, I think you're uh, zooming a, a bit far ahead. We marry the facts with the law. Uh, we don't preview any actions we might take. Uh, but importantly, uh, Brazil okay. is a partner, you, and we're having can, we're having these conversations with our Brazilian partners. That, but you can say that you will uphold the law, Matt. We follow the law. Right. And then, and then, uh, just secondly, on your your Monroe Doctrine comment, you know, it was back in 2014 or so that Secretary Kerry declared that the Monroe Doctrine was dead. So that's not particularly new. But uh, in fact, I didn't intend to make news with that. Well, I know, but. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that it, it, it doesn't really appear to be dead. I mean, you guys say that it isn't dead, but uh, if you're going to go ahead and enforce the law uh, when it comes to Brazil and these Iranian uh, warships, that uh, would seem to suggest. Now, granted, Iran is not Europe, um, but uh, it, it it would seem to suggest that you are um, uh, opposed to and will take action against foreign non-Western Hemisphere interference in the Western Hemisphere. Which you're you're which making, you're, you're making, you're Matt, you're making a number of assumptions. Uh, what, 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 is, what, 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 what is true, what is true, and that you are not wrong in, in relaying is the fact that uh, a country like Iran poses a collective threat uh, to the United States and to our partners in this hemisphere. Uh, it is our intention to work collaboratively with our partners 
in the region, but even closer okay. to this neighborhood on, on those types okay. of threats. Well, I mean, do you believe that China poses a threat in the, in the Western Hemisphere, in, in places like Panama and Central America and places where they're making inroads? These are decisions yeah. that governments are going to have to make on a sovereign basis. Uh, our intention and engagement with these governments is to see to it, to do everything we can, uh, that their decisions are informed decisions. These are not decisions for us to make. Uh, yes, go ahead. 